we rejoice in God's promises to all those that take this significant step of faith. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as God called and chose his servant people Israel and made a covenant with them saying, I will be your God and you will be my people. So in the fullness of time, God called and chose Jesus Christ to fulfill this covenant for all. Through his birth, life, death, and resurrection, God has made a new covenant of grace, whereby we say, I am yours and the people you have given me. Today we come to claim the promises of that new covenant, rejoicing that our Savior Jesus Christ instituted baptism as a visible sign of covenant making. Our washing with water by the word, our habitat in Christ crucified and risen, our bonding in water with brothers and sisters in Christ, our solidarity with those with whom he is in solidarity, and our commissioning to serve in Jesus' name. Let us hear baptism's promise and call, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. I want to ask you as the church, uh, you fill the role of sponsor for Bradley because you have been alongside him in his journey. And some of you are closer to him than, than others. Sometimes there'll be, you know, if there's a, a little child, there'll be a, a specific sponsor for that child or a godparent in some traditions. Um, but in some ways, you, as his friends, as brothers and sisters in Christ, you fulfill this role. So... I ask you, and if you are willing, you say, with God's help, we will. Will you continue to walk with Bradley in this new life in Christ, in the fellowship of this congregation? If so, say, we will, with God's help. We will, with God's help. Now, Bradley, I have some uh, questions for, for you in particular that are kind of traditional questions. I reviewed this with you uh, last Wednesday. But... This is also an opportunity for you to give kind of a personal testimony, especially considering that you uh, did have a baptism ceremony done when you were little. Very little, yeah. Um, is there anything that you'd like to share in terms of why you've come to, to this day? Well, um, I was baptized when I was very little, but I was an atheist. I did not believe, and it meant nothing to me. And now I have been living in my faith for many years, and it just felt right to get baptized because I truly believe everything that uh, is in the Bible and that God has called us to. Praise God. Hallelujah. So here are the questions for any candidate that comes for baptism. Do you now desire to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? So say I do. I do. Proclaiming this covenant with Jesus Christ, do you renounce all the powers of evil and declare your opposition to a way of life in contradiction to the gospel? I do. Do you repent of your sins, confessing Christ as your Savior and Lord, and living as his faithful disciple? I do. Will you devote yourself to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer? I will. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you do all in your power to participate fully in the life of this congregation, I or <laughs> or those that uh, that this congregation sends you to bless, I to do justice, you're eager. I am. I God am. bless us, brother. <laughs> to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. If so, say I do. I do. All right. <clears throat> Let us pray. A Thanksgiving over the water, and then, and then we got to get in. We'll see how cold it is. Will you pray with me? And and in fact, as just a sign of your participation in this blessing, 
and, and participation in this sacrament as the church, if you'd like to extend a hand towards the water as we bless it. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In your Son, Jesus received the baptism of John, was anointed by the Holy Spirit as Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are renewed by the Holy Spirit. There, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him by faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that this child of yours, Bradley, may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him and you and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. 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 It's go time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a bad part. You had me really work. Well, I, I, the longer you pray, the warmer we're going to get. Oh, so just, <laughs> uh, by a million. No, just a million. I think that would be good. Now, don't expect me to pull up here. You're dead weight, okay? I want you to help me because this is your you're risen in Christ. Right. It's pretty good. Yeah. You want to hold your nose? Okay. All right, let's do it. Bradley Matthew Lemon, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Too much. <laughs> now the books. Oh, oh, no. no, it's just a bulletin. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so if you'll extend a hand. If you'll extend a hand to Brandon, and say a blessing upon him. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. 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 God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels guide uphold you. With his sheep securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet. Happy Easter, you!